Good afternoon, it's Matt here from DPF Cleaning and today we just wanted to run very quickly through the P244B fault code which can be quite frustrating to, to solve sometimes. Uh, a lot of the time it'll come up on your scan tool as a uh, DPF as being clogged but before you go ahead and rip that DPF off and send it out to us it would be fantastic if you could just uh, do some very basic checks for us and to make sure that uh, firstly the DPF does actually need to get cleaned and that uh, you can get your problems solved. So before we start, I just wanted to very quickly talk about exactly how the system works. Uh, we generally see pressure differential sensors with a diaphragm type sensor, and they will actually have two tubes that lead into the exhaust system, one before and one after the DPF. And so basically what we're doing is measuring the pressure drop across the DPF and the ECU can infer how damaged uh, or how blocked the filter is at that stage. Now, the first issue that we have quite commonly with these particular sensors and sensor setups is that either the tubes that go between the exhaust and the sensor become blocked, or generally speaking, there's usually some small rubber connector pieces, and those rubber connector pieces can become uh, brittle and damaged over time, and then obviously start to leak, and you get false pressure reading. So the very first thing you'll need to do is to just double check that these uh, tubes are actually clean and free of carbon buildup and not blocked, which is a very common. Uh, occurrence and then also to make sure that those rubbers are not perished and that they are correct. Second most likely cause is actually the sensor itself. A lot of the time they will operate with like a, a rubber or a Kevlar type diaphragm inside um, and that can actually become particularly with the heat and pressure over time they will become quite brittle and will actually start to break and so definitely uh, have a quick look at the pressure sensor make sure that if you know if you're blowing one tube it doesn't cross over to the other um, Obviously, if you have any open circuit or short circuit fault codes, then this is very much likely going to be the issue or the cause of your issues. Yeah, if you do have a problem with your DPF pressure sensor, please do check out dpfparts.com. It's a parent or a sister company of ours, um, and we should be able to offer you some fantastic pricing and uh, some service on those particular products. So if both of those are okay, and then obviously uh, you are still sewing a fault code for a blocked DPF, then it's very likely that, in, of course, your DPF is going to need to be removed and cleaned. One thing to keep in mind with DPFs, there's usually some sort of root cause. Generally speaking, the DPFs are very good at self-regenerating. If you have an issue with your DPF, uh, it generally means that there's going to be some sort of ash buildup. And so definitely something to look into as to where that ash may be coming from. We do have some instances where DPFs come off uh, the root cause analysis as to why the DPF is, is blocked has not been done and we clean it out and then very shortly thereafter we, we have the same issues. Generally speaking, uh, fuel contamination is one of the larger ones where we get some, some contaminants in the fuel that come through the exhaust system that obviously aren't fuel and therefore uh, cannot be burnt off. But that we also see a lot of the common times, one of the most common faults that we see is also uh, engine coolant in the exhaust system, which can usually, or it's usually caused from an EGR cooler failure. So something to keep in mind for in future. If you do have an EGR cooler failure, you are very much likely to build a significant amount of ash up in your DPF very, very quickly. And so generally speaking, if you do do an EGR cooler, it'd be quite, uh, quite advantageous to get the DPF done at the same time. Anyway, been Matt here from DPF Cleaning and DPF Parts. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.